Hi everybody, in this tutorial video, I want to show you how you can copy your Stalker 2 Windows Game Pass save over to an installation of Stalker 2 from Steam. So maybe like myself, you've played Stalker 2 on Windows Game Pass Ultimate or Windows Game Pass for PC, um, and you finish the game, you're like, I enjoyed that so much, I want to play it on something like a Steam Deck or a ROG Ally or, so, or something like that. And for that, I really need to have the Steam version. Or maybe just you've enjoyed the game so much you want to support the devs and you want to give us some money by buying it off Steam as well. Anyway, what you need to do is first off, don't uninstall the Windows version yet. Keep that on your PC um, and you want to install the Steam version at the same time. Now I know this can be a bit tricky because the games are so big and they're going to take a big chunk up of your hard drive. But honestly, you need to keep them both to start off with. The next thing you want to do is once the Steam version is installed, fire it up and create a uh, new game in the slots where you're going to have some saves from your Xbox uh, PC version. So, for example, when I was playing Stalker 2 on Windows, I use, only use slot 1. And there's, there's three possible slots in them, but I only ever use slot 1. Um, so what I then did in Steam was I started a new game in slot 1. So that would open that up. If I'd use slot two and three, I would start a new game in slot two and three as well on my Steam version. So you can have new versions um, with just you know just just with uh, with going into the game. Um, so th so they're there. Now, as far as I'm aware, I well, I haven't been able to figure out how to merge files. So I don't know how to have um, say a save file. That was created on the Steam version and a save file that was created on the Windows version at the same time. One replaces the other in this particular method. So when you've created those uh, new save save file slots in the Steam version, what we then need to do is find where these are. Now, luckily, it's relatively easy. So, excuse me, your Steam save files will be under C, users, your username, app data, local. Stalker 2 saved and then Steam and there we've got save games Steam Auto Cloud VDF so they're there nice and ready ready to go if you open up another window the, the Windows one is a little bit more complicated but it's C users your username app data local packages GSC game world dot stalker dot two part of Chernobyl with a load of letters and figures after it system app data slash xgs slash and a load of letters and numbers i think that's different for everybody as you can see that's there now before you go any further what you want to do is you want to copy your save games folder and you want to go somewhere and just back it somewhere up on your pc just in case something goes wrong and really do the same with, with steam as well now i think on windows I think maybe this folder is protected or something because I couldn't paste it into the same folder. It may vary for you, but I know in the Steam folder I could, so we've got a backup. Then all I need to do is just go to the Windows Save Games, copy that, go to the Steam version, right-click, paste over the top, and it will give you a few warnings saying, oh, by the way, um, uh, you're, you're replacing a few, few files. Paste it in, and that should be it. Fire up Stalker 2, Steam version and you should find that your Windows save files are there ready to go. You can do it the other way as well, but as I say, it's kind of a one it's, it's kind of like a almost like a one-way street. You know, you can go from Steam to Windows and then Windows back to Steam, but you can't do half and half. There may well be a way of doing it, and if there is, please tell me in the comment section down below and I'll obviously then we'll have the link there so that we can we can merge files. But I guess lots of people are probably like me in the fact that you took advantage of Game Pass Ultimate um, to play Stalker 2, maybe on your Xbox console and on the PC, and now you want to have the Steam version for, for whatever reason it, it may be. In my case, it's because I want to play it on my Steam Deck as well. So there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.